O God, whom saints and angels delight to worship in heaven, be ever present with your servants who seek through art and music to perfect the praises offered by your people on earth, and grant to them even now glimpses of your beauty, and make them worthy at length to behold it unveiled forevermore. Through Jesus Christ our Savior. Amen. Hello, saints. This is Father Brian Wilbert, Interim Assistant Rector at St. Paul's in Cleveland Heights, and today I'd like to share with you the hymn text, Jesus Still Lead On, written by Nicholas Ludwig von Zinzendorf. Jesus still lead on till our rest be won, and although the way be cheerless, we will follow calm and fearless. Guide us by your hand to the promised land. If the way be drear, if the foe be near, let no faithless fears o'ertake us, let not faith and hope forsake us. Safely pass the foe, to our home we go. When we seek relief from a long-felt grief, when temptations come alluring, make us patient and enduring. Show us that bright shore where we weep no more. Jesus, still lead on, till our rest be won. Heavenly leader, still direct us, Still support, console, protect us till we safely stand in the promised land. Nicholas Ludwig von Zinzendorf was a German religious and social reformer and a bishop of the Moravian Church who lived between 1700 and 1760. Let's say he was, as many of us are, complicated, and he had a very colorful life. He wrote a large number of hymns of which Jesus still lead on, is perhaps the best known. It was first published in 1778 and appears not only in Moravian hymnals, but also the hymnals of the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America. It also appeared in the church hymnal, revised and enlarged in accordance with the action of the General Convention of the Protestant Episcopal Church in the United States of America in the year of our Lord, 1892. In our Episcopal hymnal of 1892, Jesus Still Lead On was published as hymn 419 with the hymn tune St. Andrew and as hymn 420 with the hymn tune St. Hubert. The hymn tune St. Hubert, which I attempted to render for you on this uh, newly restored 1885 reed organ by the Chicago Organ uh, Company, was composed by the Reverend Leicester Darwell who lived between 1812 and 1897. We know very little about the Reverend Mr. Darwell, except that he was a graduate of Trinity College and an ordained Anglican priest and a botanist. He served his entire pastoral career, 52 years, as the vicar of the church in Crigon Montgomery in Wales. The hymn text refers to the fourth and 17th chapters of St. Matthew's Gospel, and the ninth chapter of St. John's Gospel, as well as other scriptures, including the Psalms, the books of Isaiah, Ruth, and a host of St. Paul's writings. In the light of our current world pandemic, the scriptural references in this hymn text and the text itself offer us not only a reinforcement in our ultimate hope of life after life, but also the promise of God's presence and leading in our life's journey no matter what temptations, fears, or foes we face. Our rector, Jeannie Leinbach, shared this thought with the staff at St. Paul's Church last week based on Psalm 46, verse 10. As inopportune as this pandemic is, what if we took it as an opportunity to slow down, to be still, and to know God's presence is with us, all of us, all God's world? I'm going to read the hymn text again and then end with a prayer based on Psalm 46. May we feel God's presence and may God's leading give us hope and bolster our faith during these days of exile. Jesus, still lead on till our rest be won. And although the way be cheerless, we will follow calm and fearless. Guide us by your hand to the promised land. If the way be drear, if the foe be near, let no faithless fears o'ertake us, let not faith and hope forsake us, 
safely past the foe, to our home we go. When we seek relief from a long-felt grief, when temptations come alluring, make us patient and enduring. Show us that bright shore where we weep no more. Jesus, still lead on till our rest be won. Heavenly leader, still direct us, still support, console, protect us, till we safely stand in that promised land. Let us pray. O God of peace, who has taught us that in returning and rest we shall be saved, in quietness and confidence shall be our strength. By the might of thy spirit, lift us, we pray, to your presence, where we may be still and know that you are God. For we ask this through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen.